Uh, good evening, fellow Shorewood residents. I know over the past few weeks you've been bombarded with a ton of information coming from the federal government, coming from the state government, and uh, as, as myself, a true believer that this is an absolute worldwide emergency, I've been listening, but I find myself at times getting lost in all the information coming at me. I figured it was my duty to our residents to at least give some information about what Shorewood is doing during this crisis and what some of our plans are. But first, first, I need to thank all the first responders, the, the fire departments, our police department, hospital workers, caregivers, and uh, they're out on the front lines and they're putting their lives or their health in, uh, in jeopardy. Those are the true heroes today. Uh, all the politicians in the world aren't the heroes, believe me. Uh, these are the true heroes. And also, I'd like to give a special thanks to the Shorewood Chief of Police, Aaron Klima. He doubles as, our, as the coordinator. He's been in constant contact with me and uh, Jim Collada, the administrator, uh, and trying to keep things moving along in the emergency services department for the village. I want to thank Jim Parton. He's in the booth right now taping this. He came out, left his family, uh, and uh, came out to get this tape done. Believe me, we're both practicing distance, uh, social distance, as a good measure, and making sure that we wipe down anything we touch on the way in and out of the building. Okay. I'd like to also thank the federal and the state leadership for their actions taken thus far during this unprecedented time throughout the world. I've been around quite a long time, and this is something unbelievable that we're seeing today. They're giving me confidence because they are making decisions. Uh, everybody can't be absolutely perfect during this because it's unprecedented, it's brand new. So everybody's kind of feeling their way through. Hopefully, hopefully we understand that and we all chip in and we do our part. Talking about that, I want to also say we really need to support our local business. If you had the opportunity, like the wife and I did last night, who were also on lockdown in our house, uh, we ordered from one of our local restaurants and, and had a nice dinner, uh, her, I, and Morty. And uh, I think that that's the way we keep these businesses they're not going to be thriving, they're just going to be getting by, but they need all of us to be use common sense. If we want them here after this is all over, and believe me, one day this will all be in the rearview mirror, then we need to support them through this crisis time. So if you can, and uh, you know, if you don't usually go out to eat, at least order in, and uh, maybe that'll help out. Uh, I'd like to give you an idea of what we've done this past week at the village. Last Friday, March the 13th, uh, the day before the weekend for St. Patty's Day celebration, uh, I asked the chief of police to contact our local bars. Let them know that they need to use common sense. They need to stay within the limit that the governor gave out that day. They, they need to uh, use good judgment. 
if they don't believe what's going back then, if they didn't believe what was going on, hopefully today that attitude and that mindset has changed. This is real. If there's anybody trying to tell you that this is a hoax, believe me, just walk away from that person. You're better off. Uh, practice 30-foot distance when you come to somebody like that. Uh, but at any rate, I'd like to make this, this is kind of me talking to you as neighbor to neighbor. We, on Monday, we, we took the unprecedented steps to close down or at least get everybody who was non-essential and what I mean by non-essential, that doesn't mean their job isn't required or needed to keep things going, but it's non-essential for the immediate uh, job so that we could practice social distance and get our employees in a safe situation. The safest place they can possibly be is in their home. Uh, if they come to work, they're going to be together. They're going to keep crossing paths, touching things that somebody else has just touched. So this isolation into, into their home is, is a way that we, as a small community, can help this virus crest and start to disappear. But we can't shut down services. Our police are still on patrol. They're just practicing their jobs a little different when it comes to social contact. Our police are also in the station. And, but they won't allow people to be coming in and contaminating the area. One at a time, and that with that they can deal with, and then clean down after the person's gone. Ah, uh, like I said, unprecedented situation. And uh, I just want to, to let you know that the village of Shorewood, the leadership in Shorewood, is on top of this and have been since the onset. And that uh, if you need anything, you need to go to the website, okay, www.vil dot shorewood dot il dot us go to the website there's tons of information the reason i'm speaking to you tonight or today whatever whatever time this gets broadcast is that like hopefully like some of you i just get overwhelmed with all the data I, I read and read, and after a while, it, it gets to the point where I'm just being overwhelmed by so much data. I want to let you know, eyeball to eyeball, or eyeball to camera, that your staff, your employees for Shorewood are on the job. They're just separated. They're using our technical capabilities to meet in groups over the Internet. Uh, we have set up our emergency services uh, personnel within the entire area. Now, that, that's going to be the members of that, that uh, EOC, the Emergency Operations Center, will be school superintendents, would, would be the township uh, supervisor, would be our public works leadership. Uh, anything, anybody that we would need during a crisis that could come on the village because tomorrow a tornado could tear through here. We still need to be able to react. So we're gonna, we, we're gonna get that meeting set up so that we can all sit at, in isolated areas and work over our laptops. Uh, it wouldn't be as convenient as yelling across the room or talking to the person next to you but it's going to be sufficient for us to handle any emergency that might come upon the village of Shorewood. Now, I mentioned tornado. It could be power outages. It could be just high winds taking trees down, taking our power lines down. That could be a water situation. 
There's many things. It could be a gas leak at, uh, from NICOR. There could be many things that I would call and open up the EOC instead of coming to the village hall down in the basement for the EOC, we'd be meeting on a computer. And uh, right now, our leader for ESDA, which is uh, Chief Klima, is getting all that set up. Fact is, we're gonna test it out tonight. So at any rate, I, uh, I wanna give you the assurance that we, are not asleep at the wheel. Uh, there's everybody in the village. Our employees are staying at their house or in the immediate vicinity and on call. Uh, anybody who's necessary to come in, uh, like our water department people are practicing uh, the social distance uh, factor put out by the CDC. So I'm uh, gonna, once a week, I'm gonna update the, this talk unless the situation changes dr dramatically. I think we're, you know, and this is my thoughts, okay? Y'all have your opinion. I think that the numbers are gonna go up exponentially for a period of time uh, following the New York pattern. Uh, they right now, they're overwhelming medical facilities and that throughout the state of New York and especially in the city of New York. So our proximity to Chicago means that we could be seeing those same number of rises. Let's hope it's not Shorewood. Let's hope uh, our people are doing the right thing. Staying clear of one another, if at all possible, and and practice and just just good practices. I mean, it's all common sense, people. We know that. And uh, I'll uh, I'll be back and and I'll be talking to you all uh, possibly next week at this time. We're going to replay this four to five times a day, so hopefully you all get a chance to to hear me. Uh, we're all, we're all constantly can be uh, gotten in touch with by any citizen in the village of Shorewood. If you want to talk to me, you can look on the page and find my number and give me a call. At any rate, hey, God bless you all. Uh, hopefully we get through this without uh, a major major catastrophe already it's 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 one of the worst i've seen and uh, uh but i want to god bless you all be safe and uh if you see somebody that needs some help food wise or something like that please take care of your neighbors that's what this town's always been about so good night god bless